Hey everybody, it's Damon with CopLock.org. Today I found out by the union leader that I've been indicted on three felony wiretapping charges out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Before I get into those, I'd like to give you a little history on how these charges came about. On October 3rd, there was an incident at West Manchester High School. A student there, Frank, was involved in an interaction with a police officer, Darren Murphy. Another student, Michael, decided to film the interaction because about a week prior, he had received a DVD from myself and Pete highlighting CopLock.org videos. That night, Mike and Frank came to Pete and I and showed us the video. I shot a short interview with them and published the video online. To round it off, I also made a phone call to the Manchester Police Department and the high school itself. Fast forward a couple months later, Frank has gone through expulsion processes. Michael has been targeted with more police interactions due to a fight between him and another teenager. And now I am facing three felony wiretapping charges. In my opinion, this is just an attempt to hide from the lack of accountability. Officer Murphy never missed a day of work. The high school has gone on to ban coplock.org from being vi viewed on its computers, as well as any swag or t-shirts on its property. To my knowledge, Darren Murphy has yet to face any punishment at all, as well as any faculty who were shown in the video encouraging Michael to delete evidence of a possible crime. I had tried to walk away and I was harassed by multiple teachers and the principal to they immediately tried to make me give them the information, give them the video, and they tried to retrieve my personal belongings to steal basically the information and delete it so that there could be no evidence. And I kind of snaked my way around it by telling them that I only had a couple pictures. They forced me to delete those pictures, however I still have the video evidence. Once again, I'll be forced to defend myself from accusations that have harmed nobody. If you look at the overall incident, only one man used force and actually harmed another one. Yet everyone else who is peaceful is being criminalized by the state. Those accusing me of this crime are sending a message that those who use force to get their way are right, and those of us who ask questions and seek accountability are wrong. I think this goes to show just how sad the justice system is. Instead of looking at everyone individually and justice being blind, the system has protected its own and criminalized those who are trying to hold them accountable. If you believe that information should be free and that public officials' actions are transparent, call the Manchester Police Department or the Hillsborough's District Attorney's Office. Let them know your thoughts. Stay tuned for more at coplock.org. <laughs>